This is Mr. Bloom with Academic Geometry at Paytel High School with today's homework, January 28th, 2020. This is the similar triangle practice that we talked about. Um, I have similar triangles, and this is the maze that we did for homework this week. So we have a bunch of problems here that we've got to start over in this corner, and we're trying to finish over here. We're going to try to solve for x in each one of these diagrams. Each one of these diagrams is a problem. And whatever our solution is, we follow that arrow to the next, the next uh, problem. So let's take a look at this. So again, we're setting up a proportion statement so that I'm solving for x. And so look at our congruent or our similar our similarity statement here, that AB, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. So AB is going to correspond to XY. So that's my strategy is, is X is to 16 as 36 is to 24. And this is my, I do my cross product. This is going to be 24X is equal to 36 times 16. And 36 times 16 is 576. And that's 24x. I'm dividing by 24. I divide by 24. And when I divide by 24, well, that's a perfect square. That's, that's 24. 576 is 24 squared. That's my solution. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to follow this arrow because that's where my answer is. I got x equals 24, so I'm going to do the next one. So this one is triangle ABC is similar to triangle JLK. So my x is JL. So I'm looking at AB, so I know that x corresponds to 40. And then I know that 32 and 24 map to each other. So I'm going to do my cross product. Whoops. 24 maps to 32, not 40. I only got 40 in there. This is 32. Okay, so now my cross product is going to be 40 times 24 equals 32x. All right, well, 40 times 24, that's 960. And now I divide that by 32, both sides. And I get x equals 30. So I'm going to go down here. This is where my answer is. So this is my next one right here. <coughs> so I have triangle ABC is similar to triangle NML. So I'm solving for AB, so I have to go to NM. And NM is 56. So I say x is to 56 as 20 is to 32 and that's my that's my strategy so it's going to be 20 times 56 and x times 32 so I have 32x equals 20 times 56 so this is uh, 20 times 56 is 1120 and then I'm going to divide by 32 and that's 30 that's 35 my x is 35, so this is where I'm headed, right over here. I'm going to go down this arrow, and I'll go to my next, my next problem. And I have triangle ABC is congruent or similar to triangle EFD. So my unknown is AB, so I want to hook it up with EF. So I'm going to say x is to 35 as... 54 is to 63. All right, so now my cross product is going to be 54 times 35, and I've got x times 63, so I have to 63x equals 35 times 54. And now 35 times 54 is 1,890. And uh, now i got to divide and solve for x, so I'm going to divide by 63, I'm sorry. I'm dividing by 63. So 18, that's going to be 30, 65. Yep, that's going to be 35. 
No, no, no. That's exactly 30. That's exactly 30 because 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 3 is, is, is 9. So this is x is equal to 30. So I have that answer. Yep, I do. So that's my answer. So now I'm going to do this one. So I have triangle ABC is similar to triangle, triangle YW or WYX. So my unknown is XY. So XY is right here, and that corresponds to CB. CB, so 28. So I'm going to say X is to 28. So this is rotated as 30 is to 24. So my cross product is going to be 30 times 28, and X times 24. So 24X equals 30 times 28. And uh, 28 times 30 is 900. Subtract 60, that's 840. 